वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ माइंड ब्लोइंग ट्रिक ट्रस्ट मी यू विल भी एबल टू फाइंड द रूट्स ऑफ एनी क्यूबिक इक्वेशन इन मैटर ऑफ सेकेंड्स ओके सो इफ यू हैव समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके दर आर जस्ट टू स्टेप्स यू नीड टू फॉलो ओके बट बिफोर गोइंग टू दैट आई विल जस्ट एक्सप्लेन वेरी क्विकली द ट्रेडिशनल मेथड ऑफ फाइंडिंग द रूट्स Okay, in case you have forgotten, then what happens over here is we will take any value of x. It can be one plus one minus one plus two minus two, and whenever you put that value, the eventually the answer of this entire equation should be equal to zero. So if you look over here, we have everything in plus. So if I put a plus one value, all of this will not get me a zero. So let's try for minus one. When you do that, minus one the whole cube will get you minus one plus six into One square that gets you plus six, plus eleven into minus eleven minus one gets you minus eleven, correct? And plus six will just become plus six. So six plus six is twelve. Minus one minus eleven becomes gets you minus twelve. So your answer becomes zero. So here when I put the value of x as minus one, you get the final answer as zero. So therefore I can say that minus one is my one of my roots okay and now we'll do synthetic division what is synthetic division very quickly we'll just put the coefficients of all of these which is 1 then this is 6 this is 11 and then this is 6 and what over your first coefficient will be written as it is and then you multiply 1 with minus 1 you get 1 minus 1 so 6 minus 1 gets you 5 5 into minus 1 gets you minus 5 so 11 minus 5 gets you 6 And minus one into six gets you minus six, so your final answer now becomes zero. And while doing this division, the name of this division is called as synthetic division. While doing this, if you don't get the final answer as zero, means you have done something wrong. So now, in order to factorize, I will say x plus one is one of my factors, right? Because x is equals to minus one. So I can write this as nothing but c x is equals to minus one. So the factor can be written as x plus one is equals to zero, correct? So the next one will be what? It's a quadratic equation, which is here the co uh, coefficient of x squared is one plus five x plus six, which is equals to zero. And then very quickly we'll factorize this, which will get you x plus two and x plus three, which is equals to Zero. So this is my factorization of this particular question. But students, like I promised, you can actually do this thing in two seconds. I mean, sorry, two steps. Okay. Very quickly. First, we'll try to find out the factors. Factors of the constant. What is my constant over here? The constant over here is six. So factors of six is one, two, and three. And then you will put a plus minus. Sign. Okay. Then, what is the coefficient of x x square? Okay. What is the coefficient of x square, which is what six? So we have to find the factors. We have to choose the factors in such a way where the addition of the factors gets you addition or subtraction of the factors gets you this particular number. So now I can say that plus one plus two plus three gets me six, correct? So very quickly we will just put these numbers with their signs all in in front or other after x, and that is my factorization. See, that's your answer. Okay. Now in order to find the roots, I will just equate all of these two. Zero. So my first root, which will be alpha, which will be minus one. Beta will be my second root, which is minus two. And gamma, which is my third root, is minus three. Okay. You saw how easy this entire thing became. Students, if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Okay. Now, students, here I will solve. I will take a bigger one. Which looks also little bit tricky. X cube plus twelve x square plus forty four x plus forty eight is equals to zero. 
so here what we'll do is we'll take factors factors are nothing but what plus minus 1 plus minus 48 plus minus 2 plus minus 24 plus minus 3 plus minus 16 plus minus 4 plus minus 12 plus minus 6 plus minus 8 see this is one way of writing your factors basically 1 into 48 gets you 48 2 into 24 gets you 48 3 into 16 gets you 48 so in this manner you will never forget to write your or rather to write down all the factors of this particular number okay so now your again coefficient of x square is nothing but what 12 so i need to pick those factors whose sum or difference will get me 12 now look over here when i do 6 4 and 2 okay so basically we see understand 6 4 and 2 when multiplied also should get me the number as 48 so 6 plus 4 plus 2 gets me 12 and 6 into 4 gets me 24 and when multiplied by 2 gets me 48 so that is also one important thing which you need to remember multiplication should get you the factors so basically multiplication should get you factors and addition or subtraction should get you coefficient of x square okay so now very quickly your entire factorization of this one will be what x plus 6 x plus 4 and x plus 2 is equals to 0 these are the factorized part of this particular cubic equation so now your roots will be what alpha is equals to minus 6 beta is equals to minus 4 and gamma is equals to minus 2 correct now let's say there is a one little condition which you need to remember and i'm going to take that particular condition over here so let's try and find out 2 cube plus x square minus 2x minus 1 is equals to 0 students just don't start with this because you have to understand in order to this for this particular trick to work you have to remember that the coefficient of x square has to be 1 okay so uh, sorry x cube has to be 1 so i'm dividing both sides by 2 so here i get x cube plus x square by 2 minus 2 upon 2 gets you 1 so minus x minus 1 upon 2 is equals to 0 correct so now my factors will be what plus minus 1 and plus minus half correct and coefficient of x square is plus half so what should be my what should be my factors please understand here since it's a cubic equation your factors will always always be neg uh, always be 3 okay the number of factors will always be 3 so now over here i can say that when i have negative 1 plus 1 and when 1 and then when you add plus 1 by 2 i get my factors or oh sorry my coefficient as plus 1 by 2 and when i multiply this negative 1 into 1 is negative 1 negative 1 when multiplied by half will get you negative half and that is the factor i'm looking for right i am actually looking for negative 1 by 2 so multiplication gets me my factor and addition gets me my coefficient okay so now very quickly the factorized part will be what x minus 1 correct x plus 1 and x plus half so you saw how easy this entire thing became right instead of actually going and doing your quadratic and all of that this thing became so so simple students this is like a mind blowing trick please do go ahead and share this with your friends and you can also you know like literally put this in your playlist whenever you are getting confused you can come and watch this video again and again so again very quickly let's write down the roots alpha is equals to plus 1 beta will be what minus 1 and gamma will be again minus half so that's how you are going to find out roots of such complicated looking cubic equations also in matter of seconds 
so i really really hope you like the way i've explained and you've understood how to do this so don't forget yeah your diy question how can i forget yeah your diy question um very quickly it is x cube minus 2x square minus 23x plus 60 is equals to 0 do let me know your answers in the comment section and i will definitely let you know whether you're right or wrong so that's it for today i will see you in the next video